Hi fellow alchemists, this is James from Sonic Alchemy on Makerspace. Today we're going to talk about contact mics one more time. So I got a few requests looking for a step-by-step -step guide on how to make a piezo transducer contact mic. So we're going to have a look at that today. There will be links for the material down below. They are affiliate links, so if you decide to purchase them through that, it does help out the channel and helps uh, me keep making more stuff for you. Make sure you stick around to the end also because it's a couple of updates and we got some mail. So you get a sneak peek at what's going to be coming up on the channel. And otherwise, let's get started. Let's make a contact mic. So by the end of this, you should be able to have your own piezo transducer contact. Hi everybody, let's start with what we're going to use to build the contact mic. So the parts are, we have a little bit of heat sink here which has been put on, the wires, a piezo element, this is a one inch, and these ones come with the two wires, the ground and the positive, the negative and positive, already attached, you can buy them without. and. In this case, I'm using a jack, a mount, mounted jack. You can use other encased uh, quarter-inch jacks as well. <clears throat> so those are the basic material. The other material you will need for this project is I have a soldering iron here. I have some solder here. This is Stano. Uh, I have a heat gun with hot glue. I use uh, magic hands to hold for soldering, and that's it. Those are the materials we need, so let's get started. All right, let's get started. Oh, I've also got a pair of pliers here. Need to know those, use those to grab onto things. So let's walk through what I normally do, and then go ahead and do it. So you can see we've got the two leads here, and I tin them, put a little bit of solder on the ends, so that they're easy <coughs> to connect. And then I will go ahead and tin these two. The center is going to be the ground, or the negative, and this is a two pole. And the lower one is going to be the uh, tip, which will be the positive. <coughs> so first things first, I'm gonna go ahead and solder. I'll show you how I do it and uh, and then I'll finish up the second one. Okay, let's see. Okay, went ahead and did that. Now I will stick the jack on there. Go ahead and stick a little bit of solder on there. Okay, as you can see, I went ahead and tinned those already. And I've tinned those. Now we just need to put them together. And we know that I bend that little one here to tell me that's the positive, and that one's the ground. And so that's what we're gonna do here attach these and go from there. Okay, that's soldered up. Then what I like to do is use a heat gun, but you can also use a lighter or some people even use, as you see, they'll take their uh, soldering iron and rub it on there, continuing to move it around all the time so that you're spreading the heat out. But basically what you want to do is shrink that you shrink up around the cables and give it a little bit more strength, plus you're also making it uh, a little bit safer. At this point then it comes down to deciding how you want to set your 
Uh, microphone up. Do you want it to be loose? You can go ahead and leave it loose. Uh, or do you want it to be uh, a small compact single unit? So at this point, I have a almost completed. And what I like to do is put hot glue on the back. I'll put it down on my working space, cover it with hot glue so you get a flat finish. And make sure to cover up the area here with the... Um, the wires connect and you can leave this open. Some people will actually have to glue that up as well. Or the other side, then I will attach it and make it a complete thing. So I'll put hot glue on and then add hot glue to this part here. Sorry about that. This part here of the jack and make it a single unit. So whatever purpose you need it for, you can do it this way. You can do it this way. And then, as you may have seen, in, if you've seen some of the other videos, we can also do it with something like this, where it's actually encased in a box. So you've got the jack. And if you can see in there, with the light a little bit, then it's basically attached directly inside of the container. In this case, a wooden box. So those are the ways to make it. And stick around, because it's mail time, and we got a few surprises, a couple of hints of what's coming up. So, you got your contact mic done? Perfect, cool. Now, sneak peek, a little preview. We got some mail, and I wanted to go through it. This is gonna give you a little bit of sneak peek of what's coming up on the channel. So first thing that came in the mail, it's not super interesting, but really telling. It's a whole bag, I've already been through a little bit start to get an idea of point, uh, seven millimeter glue sticks. That means more build projects. What else? This little thing here, can you see it here? Can you see that? It says 30 amp ESC. And <clears throat> it's for brushless motors. And there's one, two, Three, four, four, ooh, there's four. That can only mean it's for a, a quad, a quad. Yeah, that's right. There's gonna be a quad, it's coming up. And slowly but surely that's coming along. There'll be an update coming up soon. And last thing, let's have a look here. A big, big box. And so, had a household project needed to cover something for the outside seats, but got a great deal, and it's a whole bunch of EVA foam. So, that means gonna be building some stuff with cardboard or, and EVA foam or just EVA foam. So, I've got some patterns from a few places, and I'm looking to pick out a pro couple projects. One idea is looking at a couple of Star Wars things. And if you guys are interested in seeing a cardboard or EVA version of a Darth Vader helmet, if you really want to see that, I haven't seen those around very often. Make a comment down below in the comments and we'll make a little vote and see where we're gonna go with that. Uh, otherwise, yeah, there's a couple other things coming in the mail and I'll give updates on those. Not to give it away, but uh, some electronics from China. So, getting excited. Anyway, thanks guys. Keep making. If you like that, please like down below, little button, and subscribe to stay informed. Thanks, guys. Keep making.